Previously on the advent of cyber. As the elves are trying to recover, Alf Recon McRed is trying to figure out how it was compromised in the first place. Alf Recon McRed has already utilized Google Dorking. Who is lookup? Have I been pwned? Gladly, no data breach was found. McRed searched various terms on GitHub. Luckily, one of the terms worked and he found the website's complete source code publicly available through OSINT. Name of the registrar is Namecheap. Straight at the top of that, there is a flag. We can see the password is Santa2022. <laughs> Hello world and welcome to Hacks. In this video we are looking at day 4 of the Try Hack Me advent of cyber. Scanning through the snow. On the 4th day of cyber, Try Hack Me gave to me four open ports. The story. During the investigation of the downloaded GitHub repository via the OSINT task, Alf Recon McRed identified a URL, qa.santagif.shop, that was probably being used by all the elves with administrative privileges to add or delete GIFs on the Santa website. The website has been pulled down for maintenance and now Recon McRed is scanning the server to see how it's been compromised. Can we help McRed scan the network and find the reason for the website compromise? The learning objectives of this room are to find out what is scanning, different scanning types, different scanning techniques, and different scanning tools. So the first section asks, what is scanning? And then it goes on to explain what scanning is, but in short, I would say that scanning is the process of gathering information about things, whether it's port scanning, web application scanning. Ultimately, your desired outcome from performing the scan is to gain information, whether it's vulnerable or not, what services it's running. And ultimately, there are two types of scanning, passive scanning and active scanning. Passive scanning is exactly that. You don't directly interact with the target. You don't send packets to the target. This could be done with tools like Wireshark, where you just sit on the network and listen to the traffic, see how the traffic is flowing and try and build up an idea of what's going on on the network without directly sending out packets to other hosts. Active scanning is where the gloves come off, it's where you start interacting directly with the target. You send it packets, whether it's via an MMAP scan or a Nikto scan, and you wait for the responses back from the host to see what services are listening or what's going on on the host itself. Scanning techniques involve network scanning where you try to build a map of the network. This could be ping scans where you send an ICMP packet to the host. However, modern Windows machines don't have ICMP enabled by default so you may not get a response back. But it's essentially exploring the network and trying to find out what's going on. Building a map of the network. Port scanning. So, network connected computers have ports. Specifically, 65,535 of them. I think. Double check that one. And ports are there to listen for communication from other hosts on the network. Essentially, you would have a service listening on a port. So if you had a web server, that would be listening typically on port 80 or 443. There are reserved ports and then there are ports that you can use for your own bespoke services. And the art of port scanning is using tools like MMAP to scan the open ports available on a system. Then once you get the results back from those ports, you know what services are listening. And then as a hacker or a professional cybersecurity, consultant you can then look at those ports for vulnerabilities you can identify versions and see what's going on and that brings us nicely to vulnerability scanning where you scan a system to identify vulnerabilities and as they point out there there are a number of tools like Nessus or OpenVAS which allow you to scan systems for vulnerabilities and Nessus is very versatile and that allows you to scan a host without authenticating to it you can scan a host by authenticating to it it's one of the best vulnerability auditing tools that are currently available for testers scanning tools so one of the most popular tools you'll come across whether you're in technical support or whether you are a penetration tester is mmap network mapper and it's essentially that it is an extremely powerful tool especially with the lua scripting language that allows you to perform various types of scans against the target host the scripting language even makes it a very viable and versatile penetration testing tool there are scripts available that 
you can use to exploit certain things, certain vulnerabilities that are known. So the author talks a bit about Nmap and the different types of scan. You've got TCP scans, ping scans, operating system scans, detecting scans, and then they also talk about Nikto, which is a web application scanner. Uh, what Nikto will do is it will go through and check things like the headers for misconfigurations. So if you don't have the click jacking header present, it will flag that up. It will tell you whether the server header is present, and the server header tends to disclose information like the Apache version. You know, a threat actor could use to then refine their attack against that particular version of Apache. Alf Recon McRed ran Mmap and Nikto tools against the QA server to find the list of open ports and vulnerabilities. He noticed a Samba service running. Hackers can gain access to systems through loosely protected Samba share folders that are not protected over the network. He knows the Bandit Yeti APT got a few lists of admin usernames and passwords from qa.santagift.shop using open source techniques. And it looks like we've been given a username and password for a Samba server. So on to the challenges. What is the name of the HTTP server running on the remote host? So I've spun up the box and I've spun up the attack box here. So all we need to do is make note of that IP address, which I'm bound to forget instantly. Jump onto the attack box, fire up the terminal. Let's full screen that. Let's give it a zoom in so we can see what we're doing. That's probably a bit too much. And then we're going to do basic Nmap scans. We're just going to do Nmap. And it was 10, 10, 159, 10.10.159.29. And then we're going to wait for that to come back. And you can see that we have four ports open. We've got SSH, which is the remote management protocol. Secure shell, it allows you to log on to a system to pull administration tasks. We have a web server running on port 80 and then we have port 139 and 445. These ports are commonly associated with Microsoft's SMB server message block but there is a Linux alternative called Samba which runs on the same ports. Unfortunately this basic scan doesn't give us enough information about the protocols in order for us to answer the first question. It asks what is the name of the server running on the remote host and it's not HTTP so we need to add a few flags to our map in order to get some more information out of it. So let's do mmap hyphen s v for version and 10.10.159.29 10 and now you can see the results are in on port 22 we have open ssh and then on port 80 we have apache httpd 2.4.29 so we know the answer to the question is going to be apache correct the next question asks, what is the name of the service running on port 22 of the QA server? Well, we know that already, it is just SSH. So if we just come over here, type in SSH and click submit, we should get a whoop whoop. Now the next question asks, what flag can you find after successfully accessing the Samba service? So all we're going to do is going to head to our attack box and then we're going to go to places. We're going to find a home folder and then we're going to go to SMB dot forward slash forward slash. And I believe it was 10.10.159.29. Okay, dokie. So can we go into admins no so now we need to authenticate so i'm going to go on to registered user and i'm going to put in the credentials that we've been provided so the username is a uh, i'm not going to change the work group for now but we may need to remove it and the password is santa with an at instead of an a 22 so s i wonder if it's going to be an american layout keyboard no it's uk fantastic and ta 2022 I'm just going to click remember forever because who cares, but you can see we are now able to retrieve the flag. Can we zoom in to see that? And the flag is THM Santa SMB server. So if we just grab that, go into here, go into our clipboard, grab the contents, I head over to the answers, just paste that in and click submit. And then it asks, what is the password for the username Santar? Santa HR. <laughs> Santar. <laughs> Santa HR. So let's do a bit more poking around on the server. Let's have a look at the user list. So we can see that Santa HR has a password of Santa25. Let's not bother copying and pasting that because it'll take too long, but it's just Santa. 25 and I'm going to click submit and that is it we are done with the room I could have gone into a bit more detail on some of the tools and I apologize for that but I feel most of the people who view my channel are familiar with mmap and basic scanning techniques but that's it that's the room complete I hope you enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up if you did please subscribe if you want to stay up to date with the latest videos that's all I've got for you today kind regards <laughs>